Hello, this is Vince, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Grand Forks, with a weather briefing. This one will cover the potential for severe weather and rainfall over the next couple of days. High temperatures today will be quite mild. Most areas will reach the 70s to lower 80s. We are expecting another fairly windy day, this time with south-southeast winds. The ingredients that will come into play tonight are shown on this slide. Basically a frontal boundary will move into the Devil's Lake to Jamestown corridor with plenty of moisture in place east of it. A strong low-level jet or winds about 5,000 feet up will move into the southern Red River Valley by 7 o'clock or so. This will set the stage for isolated severe storms tonight and they could roughly occur any time through the night. The graphic on the left shows where the Storm Prediction Center has a risk, which includes most of southeast North Dakota and west central Minnesota. Hail up to one inch in diameter and 60 mile per hour winds are possible with these storms. The graphic on the right shows where the Weather Prediction Center has a risk for excessive rainfall, which is pretty similar to the area on the left hand graphic. Here are a couple of our high resolution model forecasts. This one starts at 7 p.m. tonight. These really do not show much happening yet. By 10 o'clock, model 1 shows a little more activity developing, while model 2 really doesn't. By 1 a.m. Friday, it is about the same story. The differences between these two models continue at 4 a.m. Friday. So overall, this is why there is only a slight or isolated severe weather risk tonight. Moving ahead into Friday, here are the expected highs. Look at the huge differences from Kandu, North Dakota to Elbow Lake, Minnesota. There may be a few strong to severe storms lingering through the day Friday, but the better chances for severe weather will hold off until Friday afternoon. The ingredients for severe weather by later Friday have now shifted a little further east. In the graphic on the left, SPC has a risk of severe weather for all of eastern North Dakota and the northwest quarter of Minnesota. However, the greatest risk is from the southern Red River Valley up into northwest Minnesota. Slightly better chances also mean larger hail sizes, a stronger wind potential, and a risk of tornadoes. The graphic on the right shows the potential for excessive rainfall also remains. Rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches with localized higher amounts are possible. Here is one high resolution model forecast for 9 o'clock on Friday. Notice the severe storms or stronger storms right around the Fergus Falls area. This is the forecast for 11 p.m. on Friday. The storms are moving east of the Baudette to Park Rapids corridor. Use this with caution though. It is just one model, and this is still a long ways off yet. To sum up, there are several chances for strong to severe storms over the next two days. The best potential is probably late Friday afternoon into Friday evening. This concludes the weather briefing. Have a good day.